Hello, Dr. Vicki Peterson here. I wanted to talk to you about a study that came out in the uh, journal, sorry, International Journal of Biological Sciences. And what they were looking at was genetically modified uh, foods, particularly corn. And if you haven't heard of GMO, it's a um, pretty hot topic here in the United States, uh, especially where I live in California. Uh, recently, unfortunately, we had it on the ballot to uh, try to have GMO foods labeled, not abolished, just labeled so we could know whether we were eating them or not and that was not passed. Um, in Europe, in many countries, they don't even allow GMO food, let alone um, keep you in the dark whether you're eating it or not. But here in the United States, we have, we have that battle to tackle. Uh, but this was an interesting study. What they did was they took uh, rats and um, they fed them three different types of uh, GMO corn. And uh, then they compared it to a control group that was fed uh, non-GMO corn. And the results were pretty staggering. I mean, if you, um, what, what the proponents of genetically modified food says is it's absolutely no different. Uh, yes, we biologically alter it, but nothing that affects the body. And um, as you may know, a lot of studies um, are done on mice and rats uh, that are then extrapolated to humans because our biochemistry is quite similar. And um, what they found in this study was that after just 14 weeks, so not a very long period of time, um, the rats developed uh, tumors of their kidney and liver. So the kidney and the liver are the detoxification organs. So it's interesting that obviously the body was overwhelmed with toxins. And um, they also saw premature death uh, at 50 and 70 percent, 50 percent in the men, uh, the male rats, and 70 percent in the female rats. Um, so they died prematurely young as opposed to the control group that saw a uh, lower death rate of 20 and 30 percent. So obviously these rats are in a study, so they're under some stress, but a big difference between 20 and 30 percent and 50 and 70 percent. Um, and these tumors that developed in the kidney and liver were very significant. And uh, each type of GMO corn, uh, some were found to affect men more, the male rats more, some were uh, affecting the women uh, more, and some cross both sexes. But in every case, there was a substantial difference between the GMO uh, corn and the non-GMO corn. So um, I think it's worth at least as long as we can to try to find out if our food is GMO and to avoid it and hopefully as more studies come out if they're not suppressed uh, these studies can come out and we can really learn um, the true danger of, of genetically modifying our food uh, so in the meantime strive to find uh, that food that is not. Unfortunately, in this country, it's estimated that well in excess of 90% of our corn is genetically modified. Also, a lot of people react to corn, so uh, not, not a must-have food, in my opinion. Uh, but there are other grains and foods that are affected as well. So find out for yourself. Try to avoid it. And uh, let me know how you're doing. Any questions you have, I do love to hear from you. And until next time, I wish you very good health.